Yo, what is going on, you disrespectful Durants? Today we're playing some games with Durant, and I've got this super meme uh, spicy list for you guys. It is a Clay Greens build of Durant. Uh, the point of this build is to try and utilize Life Do as much as possible while abusing Clay in the deck because we only play uh, a few uh, non uh, item cards, which is just these five energy, which we have Professor's Letters to find. Uh, the four Durants, which we have four repeat ball, four level ball to find, and then the supporters themselves, the greens, and the four clay. Uh, and the point of the deck is to get life due into play and then use it four more times with Lana's Fishing Rod while we deck out our opponent with the Vower and the Trick Shovels. Um, so this deck has been super fun to play. Another cool card that we play in the deck is Random Receiver, um, so that way we can find our supporters really consistently on turn one. We have 12 outs to a turn one supporter. And once we get any of these cards uh we're just gonna start rolling we're off to the races uh in no time we got the rotom's hope the rotom decks to help us shuffle in our prize cards should we prize a durant or a life do i've got some metal goggles in here to help against spread decks they've been very good so far definitely like the metal goggles for sure um and uh yeah that's kind of all i have to say on the list i think we have to go ahead and get into a game so i can really show you guys uh how it operates so let's go ahead and do that all right, we're going first here in this one, uh, Mulligan. We do Mulligan quite a bit with the deck. It's not really that big of a deal, though. Our our opponent usually either is one-shotting us on turn one or one-shotting us on turn two, so... And then continuously one-shotting us from there. We don't play any disruption as far as energy disruption and stuff like that goes in this build. A lot more straightforward than that. Uh, no draw supporter in this opening hand, but uh, we are going first. So we got two turns to find that. We are up against a Tapu Lele. Nothing else. All the Durants are here. Three Lana's Fishing Rods are here. All of our supporters, all of our random receivers. Uh, we prized one energy, I believe, but that's fine. And uh, Trick Shovels are here. Level Balls are here. Yeah, pretty much everything's here. Um, I don't even know. What did, what did we prize? It's one of those games where I look at the deck and I'm like, what did I prize? Oh, Life Do is prized. All right, so we do need to find Life Do. That's one of the most important cards in the deck ball again get another durant and then we are going to professor's letter get two energy out of the deck and then i will actually trick shovel but i'm gonna actually trick shovel our own deck um my deck might not want this card on top definitely don't um because we want to make it easier for us to draw into a draw supporter so i mean we could have discarded well if it had been a uh supporter we would have left it if it's literally anything else besides a random receiver i guess we discard it which we did there we go and now we're in uh business i guess yeah the the what's it called being prized does kind of suck but we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the deck as soon as possible we're up against sylveon gx tapu lele gx you usually don't see tapu lele with sylveon but there's a ralt so it is a guardian deck this one might be kind of tough guardian uh, with the GX attack, putting 10 cards back in the deck, they'll usually be pretty good cards that we don't want our opponent to have access to. So yeah, this one might actually be pretty tough. There's a Lily. So they're going off to a pretty good turn one. Um, even though it is just a Lily for two, if the other six cards are pretty decent, drawing just a couple extra cards on the hand is never bad. And yeah, see, it worked out. There we go. We got the greens. We'll go ahead and greens for a clay and a Rotom Dex here. <clears throat> or actually no we're gonna get we don't want to run decks yet we want to get the rest of the durants out of the deck so we're gonna get a level ball to get the durant and we're gonna get a another greens uh or we could get yeah we could get greens level ball here yeah i guess that's the way we're gonna go greens level ball here want to get that other durant out of the deck we're gonna go level ball get the other durant so spread really isn't a factor in this matchup but this does reduce damage by 30 which could be a factor in whether or not they get to knock out this initial durant so we're definitely gonna throw it on the active here and then devour next turn we will greens and see that's why using that trick shovel on ourselves was so relevant we used it we would have been top decking a metal energy instead we top deck a greens perfect awesome great wow um next turn we're gonna be using greens we're gonna be getting a rotom dex and probably a clay we do need a draw supporter. There's an evolve to Curlia, so they're going to be even a turn slower. There's a field blower, but that should o that's only going to be relevant if they play Fighting Fury Belt, which they shouldn't because they're playing Guardian. Um, so I guess they could be playing a Muscle Band. That wouldn't be too ridiculous for our opponent to be playing. So Muscle Band might be something we have to look out for here, but I think that won't be actually that big of a deal. I'm not really worried about our opponent playing 
uh, muscle band. So yeah, despite the mulligans and the turn one lily, their opening doesn't seem to be that ridiculously good. A little bit slow, that's perfect for us. Get those de extra devours in there before we start getting knocked out. And plenty of time to set around our own uh, pretty slow start as well. Yeah, because we didn't start off that aggressively at all. Our life dude's prized. Uh, the list goes uh, on and on and on. Uh, that's a pretty cute pulpix, uh, but I don't think as good as Beacon. Gnaw is cool, but uh, I think Beacon is better. All right, we're going to go ahead and use greens here. We're going to grab ourselves a Rotom Dex and I think the clay, but we could just use greens again. There's no reason for us not to just go ahead and greens again on the next turn, I don't think. So I think we just want to go ahead and get the greens, actually. Um, and then we'll also be able to tell, once again, what is prized on our next turn, and then maybe even get the other Rotom Dex if we feel like... This Rotom Dex did not solve our issues perfectly or well enough. There's another discard. Ooh, Super Boost is always good to go. Nice to see a DCE go. And a Guardian. Maybe they're just going to be out of Guardians. That would be pretty funny if that happened. If they just run out of Guardians. All right, yeah. Next turn, Greens. We'll check for the life do. Hopefully, it's there. Possible it's not. Another thing that this deck loses to, like I said, it is kind of a little bit of a meme deck for sure. One thing we actually just lose to is Faba for the most part. We kind of just lose to Faba. So we're hoping that we never play against the Faba. Uh, and if we do play against one, yeah, we do just kind of lose. Because <laughs> they Faba away our life do, and then we are never able to actually uh, chain enough Devours to actually beat our opponent. Because we don't play stuff like Handiwork or Bryson Man to actually get those extra mills off. Um, and we don't have any energy control to slow our opponent down to get the extra mills off. So yeah, we kind of just lose those games if our opponent has Faba. So yeah, we're always hoping our opponent doesn't have Faba. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and Guardian, not generally a deck that has Faba, so I'm pretty much not worried about this this game uh, and our opponent having Faba, um, but one of the future ones you never really... Fairy Charm, Nest Ball, alright, that's fine with me. Fairy Charm ability, um, I don't know why they grabbed that, I don't think that really does anything in this matchup. There's the Nest Ball usage though, so they play Cherish Ball, Nest Ball, a little bit more aggressive of a build, Cherish Ball, Nest Ball with Lily as opposed to something like Bridget or Elm to just set up the small dudes on the turn one. Uh, they're gonna get themselves another Ralts. That's fine, not worried about that. Probably see that one go into a Gallade. I have a hard time believing that that one's actually gonna stay a uh, Ralts or go into another Guardian. Probably gonna end up becoming a, uh, a, what's it called, a Gallade if they play it. I assume they play it. Gallade's pretty good in Guardian. There's really no reason not to play the Gallade, there's the Cherish Ball and pass. So it seems like our opponent has made a, definitely made a mistake here. And okay, Life Dew is still prized and it ate our other Rotom decks. Okay, so uh, that is pretty bad. I guess instead of taking uh, another greens, I should have just taken the Rotom decks. All right, so we are in about as bad of a position as we possibly could be. It ate our Rotom decks, that's not good. Um, <laughs> go ahead and get ourselves a clay here. I should have taken the other Rotom decks. I had Via Seekers that could get me the greens. I kind of, kind of, I kind of actually just forgot that that was a thing that I could just Via Seeker for the greens. Um, so yeah, we're in big trouble. Get eight our Rotom decks. Please send help. Devour for four. Um, so we're gonna have to try and win by just devouring for four every turn. Our opponent dead drawing right now is a big relief though, because without life, dude, we don't have a way to slow down the game. <laughs> And we're definitely going to be in trouble. We would definitely be in major trouble if our opponent wasn't drawing uh, so poorly. It looks like with that Cherish Ball usage, they probably uh, prized uh, whatever they were looking for. All right, Secret Spring to the active. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually just go with their GX attack here. I don't think they pr they probably don't have a, uh, a DCE. They maybe do. Nope, it is just the Twilight GX. So that's 10 more cards we have to work through. But they're not one-shotting Durant quite yet. So we should still be fine. Just going to keep cruising. Not too worried about it. Go hit him with our clay on the first turn. And um, yeah. So next time, if you want to be super safe, like I should have been, you get the other Rotom decks out of the deck as well. So that way, when you use your first Rotom decks, if you don't get the life due out of the deck, your other Rotom decks also doesn't get stuck in your prize cards. And you don't have to hope your opponent dead draws to Oblivion to actually win a game. Um, there we go. And we got six there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use... Professor's Letter, get that last metal out of the deck, put that on a Dudant, um, and then go ahead and Devour once again. 
There we go. Four more cards. Two DCEs. That's pretty good. They might actually whiff a DCE this turn, which would be great. Because uh, then they would need to hit Double Fairy to knock us out. And hopefully they whiff Double Fairy as well. Because we technically have like 100. We effectively have 100 HP with the Metal Goggles. Um, so we live through a hit of just two Fairy Energy. Because that will only hit us for 90 damage. Um, so they do need three Fairy Energy on their Guardian. Or their Guardvor. Not Guardian. Not quite the same uh, Pokemon there. There's a Nest Ball from our opponent. Do they play Instructor Rangaroo? Doesn't look like it. Just the Xerneas Prism Star. I'm not worried about that at all. There we go. They're going to be starting to take... Oh, wait. They're only doing 30 damage. They actually don't even knock this one out next turn. That's kind of cool. Um, actually, I do kind of want to use another Clay here. Or I would actually even take a Greens. But let's just go with the Clay. All right. That's good with me and go ahead and devour once again four more cards 23 cards left to go we have three actually i don't even know how many trick shovels we have in the deck now because of the uh because of the uh the rotom decks play um but we'll be able to clay for the rest of our deck towards uh in like three turns from now so we'll be able to get them all out if we want to i think i probably would want to just in case um once again hoping our opponent's top deck is trash and then just keep milling here. Oh, that is a cute EV card as well. All these super hyper rare cards are super cool. Uh, all the shiny cards are right. There's a hit for that, but they can't knock it out. You know, what? I think I'm just going to actually save this so they don't get the extra card off the prize cards and go ahead and devour with this one instead. One, two, three, four. Got another energy there. Um, still plenty of DCEs left, unfortunately. They're about we're halfway through their DCEs. There's finally an attachment. I assume they would have attached this last turn if they had it, so that should be all they have. And then, yep, we do save this Durant by doing the retreat for the turn. And it's possible we can save another Durant if we put these metal goggles back into the deck. And then there's a green slept in the deck, so I'm going to go ahead and play this. Do we get it? Oh, we're actually out of supports. I should have checked my discard pile. Um, but then I actually am going to random receiver again. I actually get to see the rest of the stuff in my deck. So we have two trick shovels left, which is good. And I'm going to go ahead and greens and grab us that... Uh, Goggles and stretcher seems okay as well. Have a stretcher. All right. Goggles to the new ant. Retreat to the new ant. I'm going to energy retrieval. Two more energy and throw those on an ant, and then go ahead and devour for four more. And then once again, this ant very possible to live. We got rid of some more energy. Three DCE, three fairy down now. They don't top deck a fairy. Uh, they won't actually be able to one-shot this ant as we just keep running around between ants and ants and uh, getting those extra devourers off before our opponent is actually drawing prize cards, which is great. That's the idea of the deck is trying to get as many extra devourers because um, theoretically, if they're one-shotting us on their first or second turn, um, that's six turns. We try and use five life dues, probably usually only get about four life dues to effectively work um, three to four. So that's plus three more turns, get those devours off. So any other turns like this, where our opponent is only doing 60 damage and not quite knocking out an ant is perfect. It's actually the most ideal scenario you could ever hope for. Um, it's no point in retreating to this one. We're out of metal goggles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mill four with this ant and we're gonna give them their first prize card. There goes their fourth DCE though. And how many, uh, now one Cynthia. I have yet to see a Via Seeker. So they might just be a no Via Seeker uh, Gardvor build here which uh, is fine with me. There's a Rabambi or a Cutie Fly to go into Rabambi. Um, that's not going to matter to us. There's the knockout on our Durant. We're going to be able to get that Metal Goggle back now with this Lana's Fishing Rod. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to go ahead and Lana's Fishing Rod. Get back the Durant and the Goggle. Put them in the deck. Play a Repeat Ball. Grab us Durant. I'm going to be a Seeker for a Greens. We don't want to deck out quite yet. We're going to play Greens. Go ahead and grab ourselves the uh probably just grab those two i want to be aggressive with milling here with the trick shovels we could hit something really cool but why not use one of these get the two energy back put one of them ant goggles to the active energy to the ant triple trick shovel opponent stack i like that ralts and we actually we deck our opponent out here i didn't even realize we actually have three shovels Oh, that's a good one to get rid of. We actually don't play any stadium cards. That is what they were looking for. That is 100%. There's the Cynthia to reset their deck. Um, yeah, that would have been very troublesome to deal with. We don't play any stadium cards. There is the last four cards in their deck. And we take in a dub here with the Ant over the Guardian. Despite prizing 
our life do after using the Rotom decks and prizing our other Rotom decks. So almost as poorly as it could have gone, it almost went, but uh, our opponent had a ridiculously slow start in the middle of the, or a ridiculously middle of the game and wasn't able to watch out any of our Durants and we're gonna end up with the dub. All right, going first again, no mulligans, but once again, no supporter or random receiver in the starting hand. Um, so that is definitely unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> our opponent didn't mulligan either, so we're getting no extra cards. So we got probably about two turns before uh, it starts to get real bad for us to actually find a uh, draw supporter. Um, we're up against a bat deck, but we do play the metal goggles. That is why we have the metal goggles to deal with stuff like that. All right, two ants are prized, or one ant is prized. What about that? Lana's fishing rod. All right, we have all four Lana's fishing rods. The life dew is in the deck, so we want to use greens. And I'm going to get the life dew. And we want to get a Rotom Dex. Use the Rotom Dex. All right, so go ahead and grab some ants. I should have checked the metal goggle count as well, but uh, a little bit lazy there. Going to hold into the energy because we have no idea what they're playing, so it's possible they knock out our first ant here. And that could snowball pretty bad. But yeah, we want to find the metal goggles, get them on two of the ants. And then we want one ant in the active with a life dew, and then another ant on the bench ready to get life dew attached to it for the turn. Um, or we can put our third metal goggles on that ant. So yeah, we have a ways around these uh, bats for sure. There's a psychic attachment to the active bat and pass. So slow start from our opponent. Got the greens. Going to go ahead and grab ourselves life dew and greens. Um, and then we'll try and get all these metal goggles out of our deck as well before we go ahead and use the Rotom decks. Is there a better way to go about this? We could just like not grab the life dew quite yet. Now let's go ahead and grab life dew and greens. That's fine. Uh, they may be playing slow on purpose. Um, we're going to go ahead and see here on this next turn what they actually have going on as we mill for three. They could just evolve to gold bat here and then start using scoop across. That could be their game plan. Um, who knows? Maybe they are, maybe their hand is not actually dead and they're just like taking their time. Um, yep. See, they have the bat the whole time. Now this is where the metal goggles will get involved on this next turn. Catch our opponent with the metal goggles. Looks like they had a plan to, uh, not have to worry about our shenanigans uh, and trying to use as few cards as possible as they hit us with a super cross on our benched ants. But we do have metal goggles for this very specific situation. Go ahead and grab that and another greens as we continue to set up into the Rotom decks where we can hopefully get that last ant out of our deck. So we got our metal goggles. Those go to our bench guys. They take 30 less damage and abilities don't affect them anymore. Um, so the tanky ants are in and then we're gonna devour once again Mill some more cards out of our opponent's deck and next turn We're gonna use greens and we're not only just gonna grab the Rotom decks to try and get that last ant back into our deck But we're also gonna grab ourselves a clay so we can really start drawing some cards um, And not what we well, we've been getting some cards, but it's been kind of slow uh, Now that we've put the metal goggles and metal goggles in play our opponent definitely needs to make an actual play here because Skill dive to our active uh, turn after turn is definitely not going to be enough to actually keep up with uh, the Wrath of the Devourer. So they're going to have to come up with something different besides skill dive or active for 10, actually. It's only going to be 10 damage. They go for the bench. All right. I don't think they read Metal Goggles, but now they should know the, <laughs> the full threat of the card. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab Clay and a Rotom Dex. And we're going to go ahead and play the Rotom Dex. And then hopefully level ball into a Durant. Um, and if not, hopefully the other Rotom decks made its way into the deck. There's the Durant. All right, we lost a Lana's Fishing Rod, but I can live with that. The other Rotom decks is not back, so we're stuck with what we have. We did throw a couple energies back into the prizes, and that's why we play so many energy retrieval, is because uh, can sometimes just uh, end up with too many energy in your prize cards and you need to recover them but uh you don't want to play actually just more energy because yep and there's a concession from our opponent uh no way they're winning with their weak bat strategy of uh skill dive for 30 and we take another dub with the durant up against the guardian here in this one so the only thing i'm really scared about against guardian is the potential for them to actually um what's it called they can like uh, okay, let's check. We have two Lana's Fishing Rods, so three Lana's Fishing Rods total, one Energy Retrieval. Oh, all of the Energy Retrievals are in the deck. Um, Life Dew's here. We prized a Dude Ant. Okay, so we want to get all of our Ants out of our deck um, before we use the Rotom decks to try and get the Ant out of our prize cards. So we're going to need a Greens. 
and a repeat ball here. Doot and doot. All right. Um, yeah, so they can eventually GX attack us and put us to a zero card hand. So that's what we have to prepare for as much as possible. That's the one thing we are actually scared of. I'm going to go ahead and trick shovel opponent's deck. Yeah, get rid of that one energy. Yeah, if we can get rid of enough energy, though, they actually can't GX attack us. So getting rid of that energy could be a big deal. You never know. It causes them to whiff an energy later on in the game. That would be huge um, to the point where they can't GX attack us. So that's what we're going to ideally look to pull off is just have our opponent with the GX attack. There's an end. That is awesome. Our hand kind of, it wasn't terrible, but it didn't have any of the real stuff that we were looking to have. It doesn't get us um, those ants or anything quite as aggressively. So yeah, I'm actually kind of glad our opponent hit us with that uh, that end there. I am actually kind of grateful. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we got the life do in the hand. We have the Rotom decks. I'm going to go ahead and play this Professor's Letter first. There's one ant in deck though. So we want to search him out before we play the Rotom decks. We do have the Life Dew, which is also a very important card to have, though. So I'm super stoked to see that. Go ahead and hit them with the Clay. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. All right. People, I don't think the Ant ended up in there. He did not get him out of the deck. That's perfect. And now we can Rotom decks. Get the... Hopefully get the Ant out of the prize cards into the deck. We actually won't know for a little while. Throw this there. Life due to the active metal goggles to this one, and then go ahead and devour. Mill the top three from our opponent's deck. There's another energy. Once again, if we can get them to just whiff a couple energy a couple more times so that they don't get the GX attack anytime soon, and give us a little bit more time to set up and prepare for the GX attack, that's all we're looking for. We just want more time to set up and prepare for getting GX attacked. Um, there's a fairy song, so it looks like they're setting up fully. They'll have access to the GX attack on the next turn. This is where it gets really scary for us. Um, so we want to try and burn as much stuff as possible. That does not lead to... Uh, top card was a greens. All right, play the greens. I'm going to go ahead and check for that Durant. Uh, he did not make it. Okay, so things we want out of our deck. Uh, for sure, we want the level ball because it's going to hopefully get us the Durant after we use the second Rotom decks. And then I don't even know what else we'd want in our hand. We could get, we just want to kind of put something in play that, uh, or just use something. Uh, we could use the Adventure Bag, get the Metal Goggles, put the Metal Goggles in play. So that burns the most cards, I think. But I wouldn't mind if the Metal Goggles got shuffled back into the prize cards uh, over the Durant. So we're going to play the Rotom decks first. Hopefully this Durant makes it out uh, of the prize cards this time. Go ahead, play the level ball. The Durant made it. Three Lana's Fishing Rods still. Not the full four, but that's fine. Plenty of supporters. Metal Goggles are in the deck as well, so we definitely want to go fish those out of the deck with the Adventure Bag. We'll grab the Metal Goggles. Uh, Durant hits the bench. Attach the Energy. Goggles. Goggles. How many Professor's Letters do we have left? I'm going to go ahead and play the Professor's Letter. No Energy left in the deck. That's fine. I think I will play the... Uh, we're going to hold on to the Energy Recycle. I'm going to go ahead and Devour for four here. Uh, if our opponent gets out the Aromatisse... Oh, but we did just mill two Ultra Balls, I believe. So maybe they won't actually get the, uh, the Aromatisse. And actually, our hand is, I just kind of realized, a little dead. I shouldn't have gotten the Adventure Bag. I probably should have gotten something to actually let me draw cards. But it looks like our opponent is eyeing up an N anyways. And will allow us to get some new cards. Because we actually would have ended up with a dead hand there had our opponent... Uh, just uh, not knocked us, or not uh, not actually GX attacked or anything. Um, but thankfully, it looks like they are going to be doing everything, and we will be just fine. Um, yep, there's the evolved to the Romatisse. So I kind of don't want to play. Yeah, they're moving the energy to the active. All right, so we're gonna get GX attacked here. We're almost almost certainly gonna get GX attacked here, and our best top decks are Via Seeker, Random Receiver, and Clay. That's the only things we want to see here. Um, ideally. Find a clay and use a clay for the turn. There's the attachment. They only have 24 cards left in their deck, though. There's the knockout. They don't even get a prize card yet on this turn, though. Our hand shuffles into the deck, and this is where it gets scary for us. Um, but we have a ton of top decks. There's a trick shovel. We're actually going to do our deck. There's a professor's letter. Definitely want to discard that. for one card deeper into our own deck now, into hopefully finding an out to a actual... Um, draw a supporter 
There's the store. We only have two lives left here with our Durant. Stretcher lets us live for another turn, but we do need to get back into the what's it called chain as soon as possible. There's another trick shovel. Do my deck again. There's a random, or there's a via secret. We're going to leave that on top. That is our out. Now we just have to hope when we use it to use a clay that we don't draw into complete garbage and we are able to uh, be just fine towards the rest of this game or for the rest of this game. And there's another knockout on our ant. We send up an ant. I'm gonna top deck the Via Seeker. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it to use it for our greens. We need more cards than that. So here we go with the clay for the turn. Clay, seven cards, hopefully all, what's it called? Uh, not that much, but it was close enough, I guess. I, I'm gonna go ahead and use a random receiver. I'm curious. Okay, we still have stuff left in the deck. Um, we have the, what's it called here? For two. Um, I am gonna be able to stretcher for a Durant, so we don't lose quite yet. Put the Durant on the bench, attach the active, and then we will get that Devour for two. Getting a little bit closer. Um, there's another energy, but energies don't really matter anymore. We want to hit our opponents via Seekers so they can't play N and end themselves down to a low hand size anymore. There's the Storm for 120 um, because of the Metal Goggles. It did reduce the damage by 30. That is kind of funny, actually. Um, they still have their Field Blower left, um, so that'll be able to get around one of our what's it called here. Going to go ahead and play another Random Receiver, get that other Clay out of the deck before we play a Clay here. All right, going to go ahead and play a Clay here. This one should be really good. I'm hoping it's really good not as good as i wanted um it's still okay uh still definitely not the worst thing i've ever seen um from here on out we are gonna have the lana's fishing rod for the uh the what's it called though so i'm gonna go ahead and stretcher for three ants i think or we can lana's fishing rod we should get the what's it called back in the deck and then i think i have another stretcher left in the deck um Definitely need to, oh no, we're in a bad spot. All right, gonna repeat ball this guy out. Check what's up, we have two stretchers left in the deck, okay. Repeat ball out the Durant. We needed to get like another level ball or stretcher here. We needed four ants on this turn, I feel like. Um, go ahead and Lana's Rod again for a Durant. I should have actually, um, oh, I don't, I don't really want the metal goggles, but I guess I'll take it. I'm gonna save the stretcher for three for the next turn. Potentially, we'll see. Durant comes down. I think we're going to be a little bit slow here. I should have actually Lana's Fishing Rod immediately and then repeat balled it out and then clayed to try and give ourselves a chance to get into the life do. But I think we're going to be a little bit slow on this one, unfortunately. There's another knockout on our Ant, and I think we are going to be taking the loss of the Guardian. Um, I definitely misplayed. Definitely could have played this a little bit better. I'm going to draw for turn to a Professor's Letter. I'm going to go ahead and play the clay. Get a bunch of stuff. We got the life do. Got triple stretcher. We got a energy retrieval here. Two. Gonna go ahead and life do. Gonna stretcher for one. For Durant. And then stretcher for one. For Durant. And then we're going to go ahead and devour for four. But like I said, I think we are just a tad too slow here. Devour for four. Still have ways to recover cards into our deck. So we don't actually deck out or anything. But I think they're just going to end on this turn. Um, I guess the one thing they could maybe not have their field blower and get rid of our life do. And then they'd be able to end to two. They would knock us out. But nope, there is a Guzma. But if they don't reset their hand... We actually be able to mill them out on the next turn. So they also have to reset their hand. Uh, they do have five cards left in deck, but oh no, there's the storm. We have this, we have the trick shovel. We have the stretcher for the Durant and we're actually gonna win this one just barely. Uh, definitely a big mistake, mistake by our opponent. They needed to end that turn, um, but then we still might've been able to win even if they had ended that turn. Um, so close game, uh, but uh, not gonna come, not gonna worry about it too much. End up with the dub here over our opponent's Guardian deck. I think we got a little lucky though. I think our opponent definitely made an error there in the end, but it doesn't matter. We end up with the dub with the Durant, and that's gonna do it for this video on this Durant deck, guys. It is definitely uh, quite the meme deck. Um, it's a fun deck to play. There's a lot of bad matchups, but uh, definitely fun. 
uh as far as durant decks go this might even be the best way to play durant right now because durant is so bad right now who knows if durant will ever be good ever again um but if you're looking to have some fun with durant this might be the best way to do it so go ahead and try out the deck hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a like if you're enjoying the content be sure to subscribe have a good day thanks for watching and peace